So this question is about, and I'm just going to quickly go through this, and you guys just check your work that you've done. I'm assuming you all have done the work by now. So this one says that, write the equation for to represent the lattice enthalpy of sodium oxide. So sodium oxide ki lattice enthalpy ke liye aapko sodium gaseous ions chahiye or oxide gaseous ions chahiye to make sodium oxide. And you realize there are two nitro sodiums, so you need two Na. That will be the first step. I'm sure everybody will have gotten that right. Then it says, what? That, sorry, my bad. Mm, yeah. So now in the Bon Harbor cycle, they want you, and I'll just actually focus on the cycle. So let's look at this cycle right now. They want you to identify species A and B, and also this equation. So what I was saying was that they'd want you to find out the states A and B, the species, and the steps 1, 2, 3, and 4. And our job is to be able to write it properly. So now, in this particular case, the first species they're asking is what is A and what is B. And if I focus on what is A, clearly A is a species from sodium, while B is a species from oxygen. So the sodium change here happening is here, that it goes from sodium solid and is being atomized. So A must be sodium gaseous atoms. And there are two of them. So the species A is, you can write sodium gaseous atom or you can write sodium, two sodium gaseous atoms. If my G is not very clear, this is two sodium gaseous atoms. And B is also atomization of oxygen ke baad aya hai. So B must be the gaseous atom of oxygen. So B would be O gas. And since it's half O2, it will make one mole of gas. So those are the species A and B. All right. Because then they want you to label reactions one, two, three, and four. Now reaction number one is after atomization of sodium. So you become sodium gas and the change from A in step number one is two sodium gases becoming two sodium gaseous ions. And ga sodium to sodium gaseous ions is the so is the first ionization energy of sodium. But since there are two of them, it'll be two times the first IE of sodium. In English, you will write two times the first ionization energy of sodium. That's step number one, which you can write at the bottom where the space is. And step number two is O becoming O2 minus. And that's not, a that's not completely straightforward. It is, but you know, for some it might not be. Because you're going from O to O2 minus, which is actually going from O to 1 minus, then to 2 minus. O to O1 minus is first ionization energy, uh, sorry, first electron affinity. And O1 minus to O2 minus is second electron affinity. Therefore, the reaction number two is the sum of first electron affinity of oxygen and second electron affinity of oxygen. That's what reaction number two is. First and second electron affinity of oxygen. All right. And then number three is the standard lattice enthalpy of sodium oxide. So delta H lattice uh, sodium oxide and reaction number four is delta hf also known as of na2o so in english you will write reaction number one as two times or twice the first ionization energy of sodium reaction number two is not for uh, is, is the sum of the first and second electron affinities of oxygen reaction number three is the lattice enthalpy of sodium oxide and reaction number four is the delta H formation of sodium oxide. And that you could write it right here. One, two, three, four. I don't really want to, so I can just write the first twice, uh, the first ionization 
energy of sodium. That's how they want you to write it and write it in English for the rest of them. I'm assuming we can all do that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to be able to have to, sorry, we have to calculate the value for, if you look at the next page, it's saying the value for lattice enthalpy of sodium oxide. So if I bring this back here, what they want to do is find the value for this reaction. And for to make space, what I can do is I can try to move this fellow right here. All right. Okay. And then calculate the value of this, re this, this reaction unknown. Because I've been given this, I've been given this, I've been given this, and all of this has been given. For example, what is this value of rea this arrow right here? It is two times the atomization of sodium that has been given to me in the data booklet. Uh, sorry, in the next page, it's two times 107. And the first ionization energy of sodium will be given to me in the data booklet. And that will be, if you check the data booklet, it's 494. Then atomization of oxygen is not given to me. What they've told me is it is really the half the bond energy of oxygen. So you get that bond energy of oxygen and you half it. If I again go to my data booklet, and yes, this is, seems very lame and easy, and it is, it's the easiest thing you'll do in second year chemistry, is what, two, what is it, two, nine, five hundred, two fifty, two forty-eight, yeah. So it'll be two forty-eight. And then the sum of first and second electron affinity, they have given that separately. The first electron affinity of uh, oxygen is given as minus 141, and the second one is 798. And then you add it to make that arrow number 2 right here. And then this arrow is unknown to us, while formation is given to us as minus 414. So when I look at my graph, my start box is right there, and my end is right there, my start all of this equals to this which is what I'm saying is 2 times 107 plus 2 times 494 plus 248 plus minus 141 plus 798 plus x equals to minus 414 and then you solve for x it's somewhere in the 2000s. I've forgotten the value. I'm just going to calculate that. It is minus 2521 in units, kilojoules per mole. That is the answer for part C of the question.